Helps if I turn my microphone on, huh? Uh, chat, thanks for uh, sticking around. Welcome back, Bert. Thank you. Hey, um, yeah, she was having problems. She wouldn't admit to it. She's like, my aunt was having problems with the lights in the living room. But I was like, you having problems with the lights? No. So why are they all on then? I don't know. Because you're having problems with them? No. Anyway, uh, let's get back to it. Hello? What's up? What's up? Fire Shadow, thank you. And back to the harvest, huh? Back to the harvest. I will say the lights flashing kind of kind of spooked me a little bit, right? You know, it's not something you're expecting to have happen, you know. Out here trying to trying to do my thing and lights flash. Actually, I've thought about that too, chat. Uh, when we play fat, when I whenever I have to play fast, phasmophobia. Because I'm assuming it's gonna happen. You know, we're gonna get to 7,500 by the end of the year. I, I have all the faith that that will happen. I'm kind of thinking about setting up where like y'all could control the lights in this room. Uh, from chat. Because that is possible. It's not something we would do very often. But like during Phasmophobia, that could be something. What do I suggest setting controls for auto drive? As far as what? What do you mean? Like to activate auto drive or open auto drive or, or what? I don't know what you mean. So, uh, that that sounds terrifying to me though, chat. Given you guys control my lighting, you know. Yeah, first time on it. No, Bert, it's something we can set up through chat. And like, you can. Yeah, paints all the lights out here to a different color or something. The worst would be the two that I have right in front of me. Those would be the worst ones because they're they can be very bright. They're only at like thirty percent right now. Kind of all of the above. Uh, as far as the controls for auto drive, you don't shouldn't have to mess with anything. It should all be. Oh, to walk out here? I got you. It's too cold out here for him now. Just have first time stand out lights. Tricks, they're all smart lights. There's no switch involved. I could just give him the app on my phone and have him like go crazy with it, you know? Maybe that maybe that's what I do. I just give first time that like my phone. And just get put him in like the light category, right? And just tell him to have fun. That would be terrifying, chat. That would be terrifying. I wouldn't like that at all. I'm back. Welcome back. But it could be a thing that, like, uh, uh, like with channel points, you guys could control lights that I have, you know? Like old school, exactly, tricks, yeah. Kid, go change the channel. That was me growing up. I was the kid. I remember the days without a remote control. I remember that. Dakota, what's going on? How are you? Yeah, I, I remember the days of no remote. I remember the days of like three channels. They were at least all in color by the time I was around. But I do remember... I do remember the days of... We didn't have cable for a long time when I was younger. We had, like we had it when I was young, young, and then like we got rid of it because we didn't have the money for it. And I'm not like saying poor me or anything. It was fine. It's just, you know, we played with I played with tractors more. You know, I went outside and played in the dirt. You know, I just I, you know, never bought the dirt I was playing with though. You know, you know, you know, chat buy dirt. Oh, stink song is still stuck in my head, you know? Been days, chat. And it's still stuck in my head. Best song from Ozzy Osbourne? 
I'm going to be honest, I don't really know a lot of Ozzy Osbourne music. Uh, Crazy Train comes to mind, though. Yeah, Crazy Train. Crazy Train definitely comes to mind for uh, Ozzy. I don't really know a lot of Ozzy Osbourne music, though. But Crazy Train, I would say, is uh, right up there for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go Crazy Train. Final answer. Final answer, chat. Uh, sure, Fire Shadow. I don't know a lot of Black Sabbath music either. Or any, honestly. I don't think I know any of it. Oh, yeah. The whole Iron Man? Yeah. I don't know. I can see it on like Guitar Hero or Rock Band or whatever whatever game that was on. I can see it like literally having flashbacks here, Fire. Played a lot of Iron Man back in the day. Actually, uh, there was a time where my one brother was moved. He moved from Maryland back out here to uh, St. Louis. And he was kind of homeless for for like a week or a couple days maybe it was in between like when he sold his house in maryland and when he was like taking possession of the house here so like him and the wife and and a couple of kids they went and stayed at like a extended stay thing but my one one niece didn't want to stay there so we we roomed together she's only a couple years younger than me and at the time we were like super close you know but we were homies you know and literally for like a week, all we did was play Guitar Hero. And for some reason, Iron Man was like the song on nonstop for a week. Under the Graveyard. I've heard of it. But yeah, it was, uh, there was so much Iron Man me. <laughs> it played on Guitar Hero. It was hilarious. It was funny, chat. <laughs> Elvin Slayer, what's going on? How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome. Most out there from Ozzy, yes. Third. Yeah, that's about the extent of my Ozzy Osbourne. Elvis Slayer, I'm doing, man. I'm doing well. Doing well. We're just uh, knocking out some wheat harvest today. Right now, we did some oats earlier. We have some wheat now. And uh, we got uh, kind of two fields actively being harvested and then field 10. And then we're done with the uh, wheat. We do have other stuff to harvest. But that's later. It is not ready yet, so... Probably have to get a little fast timing in at some point today, chat. Get a little fast time going, and uh, we have lots of soybeans to harvest. Like. Lots. Okay. Like. Like a lot. All right. That'll be fun, chap. Uh, the header is the 60-foot Huddy B out of the mod hub. So it is a modded header, yes. Okay. Playing farm some 19. What map are we on? 19. There's so many good ones to choose from. Be playing like Spectacle Island or anything yeah, like from... Those 19 maps would come back. Which one? Flint Hills. Flint Hill, yeah. I definitely recommend them. Uh, they don't like uneven terrain, though. I will say that. There's no flex but to them. They don't mind it unless you have a... Like a, a bowl. Yeah, a bowl. They don't like that, yeah. Lone Oak! Good map. Be fine on hills. Yeah, they like, they like rolly hills. They just don't like... Where it's low in the center and high on the edges, then uh, they don't like that at all. 
So, some landscaping needs to be done around this map still. Uh, to be honest, it's a little bit of grain every time. I don't really care too much. You'd almost spend more in landscaping than we're going to lose by, you know, letting it wither. Driving on it, whatever. So, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Look at that one weed out here in this whole field chat. Must be water hemp. It's definitely what it is. It's definitely a, uh, a big uh, problem around here. Water hemp. If you know, you know, chap. Water hemp, mare's tails. Punch them, too. I hate water Punch hemp. Them. You what? I hate water hemp. Oh, it's so fun, isn't it? Yep. Playing on a new Ohio map. It's pretty cool. Awesome. I also have a Westbridge Hills save. Let's go. Love me some Westbridge Hills. For sure. Yep. Water hemp over like six inches tall. Forget it. Ain't killing that with chemical. It's not anything uh, I've tried. Every once in a while, the one farmer mixes up something. And... Uh, He'll, he'll get them knocked, but he still won't kill them. They'd... Water hemp are so resistant to everything. Best thing you can do is uh, try to try to hoe them when they're small or work up dirt when they're small, that kind of stuff. Honestly, up out along our uh, lane, uh, the one farmer that has ground that our lane goes next to they don't uh they don't really worry about the water hemp too much and for years dad and i would go out there you know with our garden hose and we would hoe the hoe the water hemp's out uh of the first couple rows of say corn and we just gave up doing that and honestly now we just mow just mow them down at the ground as we as they're growing and stuff because they don't spray and they don't take care of them so they get out of hand real fast that the best thing you can do is just mow them off at the ground. Oh. Um, we try to keep the lane mode just to keep the water hemp down a little bit, but it doesn't matter because in the you know the first five or six rows of corn, you can't hardly see the corn most years for all the water hemp. I don't know why they don't uh, spend a few more dollars on some spray or something when the uh, water hemp are small, you know. As honestly, like a four wheeler or a UTV or something with a tank sprayer in the back. That's all you need to go spray some field or, uh, field edges, you know. Which is what the other guy does, and he he does a pretty good job keeping after uh, after weeds all summer. Oh yeah. You always say you're uh, you uh, okay when you're playing it. Yeah. Farming, like driving the equipment and stuff, I would say is definitely more fun in real life. You know, like, yes, I enjoy farms them. I definitely have fun with it. Don't get me wrong. But if I can go and just drive my tractor like an IRL tractor, dude, I'm I'm in heaven. Broadleaf. What about broadleaf? Like broadleaf weeds? Yeah. Almost need everything though to go after water hemp. You can throw your roundup in there, your 24D. You got some liberty? Yeah, throw that in there too. You got whatever you got, throw it in there, make a cocktail. That's about the only way you're going to get them nowadays. At least around here, they're bad. I still kind of blame it on the one farmer, at least by our farm. I kind of blame it by, or blame it on the one farmer. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Oh, it definitely lives through 240. Oh, yeah. 240. Once a water hemp gets over like six inches tall, Bert, you can back me up on this, or Trent. Uh, it's really hard to kill them with chemical. Yeah, because they have so many seeds. Oh, and they're so resistant. A lot of times, like, you'll burn them back, but, like, the main, like, stem will just keep shoot out more leaves and be like, ha, you thought you were going to get me. Yeah, it laughs at you. Exactly, Bert, yeah. 
Water hemp is horribly resistant to chemical. And if you don't kill it on time, it'll just yep. produce a buttload of seeds. Yeah, if you let a water hemp go to like maturity, they'll get like eight, nine feet tall or something, and like the amount of seeds Thousands. on. I can't imagine actually the amount of seed pods on one uh, water hemp plant. Like it's it got to be thousands, if not more. Yeah, uh, it's it's insane. Honestly, I'll try to take some pictures of some of this uh, next coming summer and post them for you guys. But we back power flickered. Hope that's it. Welcome back, Trim. Welcome back. Hey, right, Sarge is here. What's up, Sarge? I don't know much what you guys up to. Oh, we are harvesting our wheat. We got the oats done and we moved on to wheat. That's what we're up to. Okay. Chaz, your power went out last night. Not good. I'm not a fan of when that happens. But it builds character. I have some great stories from our, our ice storm where we were without power for 10 days. One of the best ones was my buddy calling his mom and just like messing with her on the phone and she, she was yelling and cussing at him. It was really funny. <laughs> Had to be there, chat, you know. Had to be there. At the time, uh, we had generator running and uh, my buddies and I decided to go and play PlayStation. But it was really cold in my room. So I might have put like a propane heater in my room that you definitely shouldn't run in in an enclosed space. And then after like 40 minutes, we're all just like, God, we're getting tired. Like middle of the day, chat. We were carbon monoxiding ourselves. <laughs> Didn't realize it. Send it. Yeah, right. Right, Chaz, I bet. I bet. Yeah, that was that was fun. Like I said, we had generator running for like freezers and stuff, but like every meal we either like went out or like I was barbecuing in the front yard. <laughs> I can remember the day the tree crew uh, the power company came through. They had uh, they must have had a hundred people on my street, you know, because it was it was so bad. Everything was so damaged, and uh, I was out front like barbecuing bacon on the grill. I had tin foil down, don't worry, chat. But like I'm out there doing that and like making eggs on the side burner, you know. And I just remember those guys looking at me like I was from Mars and I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to like make breakfast, leave me alone. It was funny. Very funny. Oh man. But yeah. And we had that other propane heater that you can burn in a enclosed space. So I uh my house became the warm hangout because it was warm in my, at least in my living room, it was nice and warm. So my buddies were always over hanging out trying to warm up. They low key wanted some, probably. Yeah, probably. That was, yeah, the tree crews that came through first. That's what they did. They sent out tree guys to go through and just cut everything and then, uh, Came in with the power guys after that to put everything back up where it belonged. My whole neighborhood's above ground uh, as far as power, so it did a lot of damage here. A lot, a lot of damage. We had right about half an inch of ice and some a little bit of wind. Not not too bad on the wind, but we definitely had some wind with it as well. And uh, half an inch of ice, it could mess up a lot. It's kind of impressive how much half an inch of ice can mess up. To be honest, we all have never been through an ice storm. It's not not a fun experience. Oh yeah. And in that same year, there was like kind of a tornado event. A lot of those, like straight line winds that came through, and we lost power for another. Oh, six or seven days. It was 2006. It was a bad year here for storms. All the power panels. Yep, that is the issue where I live, too. Uh, pretty much everything's above ground. Although, the next neighborhood, like, 
over yonder. They're all underground. Everything's underground in that neighborhood. So it's a couple years newer than my neighborhood. And somebody was like forward thinking, obviously, when they built that neighborhood to like, hey, let's put everything underground and be done with it. But my neighborhood's all overground, except for the new fiber that's underground, but everything else is overhead here. Well, Sarge, I've been meaning to talk to you about something power related. Hey, what's up? Uh, the other day, we were at the farm. It was on Sunday. And I don't know if you, how much you've messed with like the uh, transmission lines, the big ones. Okay. But they had this helicopter. And dangling from the helicopter was like this basket thing that had two guys sitting in it. And they would go out in between the, the power poles on these, like, you know, cross-country lines. Yeah. And I'm assuming they were putting, like, spacers in there. Because they had these big, long, like, pole things underneath them on this, on this little cart thing they were sitting on, right? Okay. That was the coolest darn thing, but I'm assuming that was, like, to keep the... I know they've had problems with wires, like, touching before. Yeah, it could be uh, trying to avoid some wind slap or whatever the case is. I gotcha. Well, years ago, they added an extra set of poles, basically. <laughs> so instead of having one set, they have two sets now. Yeah. And then we've heard this helicopter over there before, and, and the other day was the first time we actually went and looked. And uh, I thought it was super cool. Oh, yeah. Cause they were just like on a farm road and there's just like a little helicopter sitting there and all of a sudden it like took off and dad and I are like, what's going on there? And I got pictures. Oh no, it's. Oh, you know what? I, yeah, I did take. Okay. Not the most common thing to see, but not uncommon for it done. Yeah. Here, I've just post. I'm posting the picture on Discord. Allegedly. There we go. Kind of hard to tell what's going on there, but that's literally two dudes <laughs> dangling on a rope. Underneath a helicopter. <laughs> like, you know, they're pretty high up there, you know. Hey, Chad, I need diesel, by the way. Did y'all see that? It's flashing. Then it's just passing. I'll go get some diesel. What is it about this field? Every time I'm in this field, I need diesel. Me too. Yeah? Yeah, I'm always almost out. <laughs> <laughs> I need to repair it too, actually. Like that. Oh, oh no! Look at my combine chat. <laughs> All right, we need a maintenance break here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, chat. I just realized I need to repair it. I need fuel in the worst way. I need some diesel. Thank you. But that was cool to see. We like we sat there and watched them forever, Sarge. It was it was really cool. I tried to get Carson to sign up for that job. I figured he would be perfect for it. Oh, yeah. He, he said a bad word to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just one? Uh, there were a couple. <laughs> there were definitely a couple bad words said. But it was super neat. Super neat oh, yeah. to see that. All right. Worry about auto drive in a minute. We got to get some diesel in our combine chat. Some diesel, some repair, which means I need to dip into the homestead. I'm trying to remember. Hey, what? Have I sent the video to or not? Video. It was a YouTube video. Um, guy that actually does that kind of work. Oh, really? I've seen the little uh, the little cars that they put up on those wires before. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of, yeah. Where it's like, it's literally just like a little basket. Mm -hmm. And they put those yeah. up on the wire and then they can drive from wire to wire. Or drive from tower to tower. I've seen that before. That's that's crazy too. They put in a bunch of... Uh, well, the other set of power lines down there is like double wires. Yeah. And then they have spacers like very often in, in there. I think they put those spacers up with the little, little basket thing. It's kind of cool. But you're not gonna catch me doing any of that. That's all I know, Joe. That's all I know. You're not gonna see me doing any of that. 
There's a guy with head cam doing that? Okay. That's fun. By fun, I mean terrifying. <laughs> uh, this might work actually right about there. Somewhere right in here. Wait, actually, I'm kind of shocked right now, chat. $50,000 repair my combine. If y'all recall, normally this combine gets to about half a tank and it's out of fuel. So is it working now? Sarge, I will watch that later. Yeah. Definitely. I wonder if somehow it's working now, chat. Filling with back up a little bit more. All right. Eight percent. We can we can we can take a drink now, chat. We've <laughs> we made it to the water and hole. All right, we're here. Might take a minute to fill up, chat. For Twelve. Yeah, the guy that I saw with the little cart, he was on TikTok. <coughs> Those are cool videos. Those are really cool. But you wouldn't catch me doing that, that's for sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's not the fall that gets you, right? It's the... Sudden stop at the end. You know, sudden stop at the end, right? Don't worry though, those guys hanging from the helicopter, they're wearing like helmets and stuff, you know, so they're, they're safe. Actually, they're probably not only just wearing a helmet, they're actually probably wearing a full metal suit. Uh, Sounds yeah. weird. I don't know. I don't know if they were or not. Yeah, they, they yeah. definitely had on a lot of, you know, PPE. Yeah, if you... Uh, would you know what a Faraday cage is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the concept of uh, having a type of metal suit around them. I got you. Because the voltage that those things sit at, wow. You know, it's a bird on a wire thing, that's why they're able to do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that voltage, if you were, <laughs> if you didn't have a suit like that on, uh -huh. it would eh, try putting about a million ants on it. Yeah. That's that what like, it would feel like. That sounds awful. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And those lines could have been turned off, too. I don't know. Doubtful. Really? Oh. So where are we going? <laughs> uh, Jump over here to the homestead field for a second to get that done. Then we're off to 10. Uh, Do you think yeah. they were hot? Wow. Yeah, they very well could have been. I don't, I have no idea. You know, I would have no way of knowing that. I would hope they were off. I would want them off. Let's put it this way. If I was the guy up there doing it, turn them suckers off. <laughs> Depending on the work that they they were doing. Yeah. Probably not. But I assume that's why you do it from a helicopter. Because you're not yeah, touching the ground. You just, yeah. And you're, you're safe. Yeah. Like you said, bird on the, bird on the line. Um, yeah, you'd be safe doing it that way. I know the time they had the guy on the little cars, those were definitely off because those were brand new lines. They, yeah. they definitely were not on. And, you know, every once in a while you got to, like, resupply them with stuff. So, Because actually in the past couple of years, they've replaced one set of lines, like towers and everything. And then all new new lines. Actually, they've done that twice now down, down by us. Of course, there's a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different fire lines down there, so. Oh, yeah. Have a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not knowing whether those lines were they coming or going as far as in relation to where, which way the power was going. Yeah. Wait, it what could was... be one of those, that, you know, depending on how things are set up. Those lines went down, well, you know, a quarter of St. Louis could have got shut off. 
And that's, I think that's where those lines go, actually. I'd have to follow up on Google sometime. Because, yeah, the, the other lines that they replaced a while back, those kind of come towards town, like where I live. But I think these other ones, I don't know. There's power lines going every which direction down there. Now, I'm not talking like little power lines either. I'm talking like, you know, the big boys. So, it's a whole thing. It is quite interesting how all of it links together because there are ways that they could take lines out of service to do work without affecting anything, but yeah. timing and coordination, it, it, it's a thing. I'm assuming you want like a fairly calm weather day, like not, you know, super hot or super cold. Because um, super hot, you're going to put more stress with air conditioners and stuff. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, for the most part, whatever work you're doing, uh, as far as the actual work being done, eh. yeah. Weather doesn't matter too much. High wind would, but. Well, yeah, especially for this with the helicopter, right? Yeah. Because it was cool, like, they, they worked, and then, like, the helicopter went up, moved over just a couple feet, and back down, like, putting them over the wires in between different ones, you know? It was it was cool to watch. It really was. It was it was neat. I definitely, if we hear that helicopter over there again, I, I wouldn't mind going back over to watch them somewhere. Especially if they're working, like, really close to the road. Because where they were working uh, the other day was, like, way out in the middle of a field. All right, chat, the power supply has arrived. Or uh, dad's computer. Cool. Cool, cool. Got to do that tonight so he can have his computer. Because he was lost without his computer last night, Chad. I'm telling you. I told him I would teach him how to watch YouTube on his phone. And he can cast it to the big TV in the living room. And he's like, no. Nah. Like, what? Oh, um, Cold pizza, yay or nay? Um, I'm a cold pizza, if it's a thin crust pepperoni, I'll eat that cold, yes. If it's anything besides thin crust pepperoni, I'm not a fan. But thin crust pepperoni, I'm here for it. Cold, yeah. Hamlet, what's up? What's up? Wow, Bert. Wow. Hand toss is not that thing. Eh. Probably not, Chaz. I mean, I used to eat more, like, cold pizza than I do now. See, now if I want to reheat pizza, I throw it on my pizzazz. And that makes some of the best reheated pizza. You're munching on cold pizza, that's why I asked. Ah, oh, cold pizza. You can't, like, come in here and talk about pizza without sharing. Pineapple, pepperoni, pizza. You bet to go. I was kind of thinking that tonight for dinner might be a pizza night. So that I can work on the work on the computer and try to make it back out here for the football game. Because football oh. and pizza go together, right? Yeah. Jazz, you did send me a video of the pizza the other... Yeah, you did. And it looked fantastic. It actually... It really did. It looked really good. Yeah, it's might, tonight might be a pizza night. I'm making a uh, wannabe Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, Chad. Who's coming over? <laughs> Not quite as involved as a normal Thanksgiving dinner, but still doing, like, turkey and stuff. Blast it with red sauce and parmesan cheese. Oh, sounds so good. Sounds so good. Go to field 10 now, correct? Uh, what field? Field 10. Yeah, yeah that's, that'll be our next one, yep. Oh, well, you guys aren't quite finished up. I'm on my way there. Yeah, ten's fine though. If you want to get started, then we'll get auto drive over there eventually. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. Start sending those guys over. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, somebody harvest that corner real quick where they go. That would be ideal. But, yeah, yeah. You'll be there. 
Well, come on over. 20. Chad, I have to go buy another turkey. And the plow does get a first rudder over time. Chad's 91 just resubscribed for 13 months. Happy 13 months. Hyperlight, that's uh, that's pretty awesome, man. I'm glad you're, uh, hopefully you're enjoying uh, the whole thing. Uh, Jay, thanks for the, uh, what is it? 13 month resub. Do appreciate it. Welcome back, man. How's it going? You have four, you'll bring. <laughs> what? Mary, I'm not going to say that out loud, just for the record. That's going to get clipped out of context. Just so you know, and I kind of think I haven't talked to my dad yet, but I, I do believe for Christmas, uh, we're going to be making some, some more pies, pumpkin pie, cherry pie here for it, chat. Definitely here for it. Uh, do we still have any guys on this field or no? Auto drive guys. Good, not anymore. Okay. I sent one guy to field in, but oh, I, don't know. I just need, uh, I need to empty eventually here. But I'll change to 10. Changing to 10. Let's go. Wyoming Cowboy, what's going on, man? How are you? Welcome in. Uh, Yuleberry, I am definitely not saying that one out loud. Is there enough space for everyone to take a nap after the trip and overload? Uh, not really. I don't even have a couch in my house, so that'd be kind of difficult. Just saying. Uh, back on north south for this field, right? I, I just kept the same course. Lemon pie. Uh, I don't know if anybody's making a lemon pie, but I'm here for that. I'm going to run north south over here, Trent. That seems. That seems oh, you're right. switching to north south? Just a hot rotate, yeah. Oh, again? I'm all about the hot rotate, bro. I don't I don't like to go set it up every time. Just hit a button, rotate, you know? I'm here for it. And uh, the barrier that was doing no purpose in front of uh, SPMT has been moved. The cream pie. I, dude, I mess with the coconut cream pie. You betcha. Yeah. The only pie that I really don't care for that I've had. I've never had, like, a rhubarb pie. But the only pie that I don't care for that I've had would be like pecan pie. Not a big uh, pecan pie guy, you know? Not not a fan of that. Do we have any? Where are all these guys? Okay, Sarge, you're sending them, I'm assuming? Yep. I, They'll be there soon. at least one. They bring them on. I could use a, could use a hand. Old fashioned homemade recipe. Nice. Not a fan. Not a fan. Mom used to make them. Um, Con pies. Not a fan. And actually, I was. We were talking about like Christmas cookies the other day. Mom used to make it. Was one of the Christmas cookies that she called. It was kind of a cookie, kind of not, but it was basically a, a tiny little pecan pie, made in like a mini muffin pan. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't like those not either. Rhymes. Missing out if I haven't had rhubarb pie, really? L3FT4D3 at Cheerdex 100. Real talk here, John. Why is the mozzarella that has one bite full of juices that go shooting in your mouth the best mozzarella stick? I don't know, Left, but you're not wrong. Thanks for the bits. Your coconut. I got you, Taz. Okay. I know Automod's holding your comment, but I, I see it. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? He's getting there. You're on the outside pass, so. Oh, I know. It's all good. I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, sorry. You took him over? No. He was doing all right. No, I ain't done nothing with him. I don't know. Oh, there's a traffic jam in the homestead. I don't know if that's... Okay, on it. 
don't know if they're just waiting for one to empty, maybe. I don't know. But it's all good. I'm not I'm good. not worried about it. They'll get here when they get here, right? Uh because it's yeah. Let's just put it this way. Auto Why mod this guy come through. Auto mod has a filthy mind, okay? Auto mind has a filthy mind. And uh that's all you, all you need to know. So I know what word is holding it and why it's holding it. We'll just Oh, got it now, okay. Oh, man. Autobot is like, I have the dirtiest mind ever, because Autobot does. I think the case Magnum is going back to the beginning for you. <clears throat> Fine. All good. We got a uh, 1050 here now. It's all good. They'll be here when they get here. I'm not worried about it. You feel like, you know, it's two words put together. Yeah, it's two words. Two words it does not like when you put them next to each other. Autobot's like, nope. Not having it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. And then I just sit here and laugh because I know what, why it's held. And I find it amusing personally. So yeah. But Autobot's good for, you know, it, it's nice to have. Autobot's filthy mind renders you mute. Uh, it's funny. Auto mod is amusing sometimes. You're just like, I don't even know what that means. And jeez. Oh, did you switch your guy at your uh, combine to 10? Where is this? You're going to the wrong place, buddy. <laughs> oh, we got a couple over here now, Sarge. Exactly, Bert. That's the problem. Yep. It is an innocent statement, to be honest. It really, really is an innocent statement. But Automod's like, nope, not innocent at all. <laughs> oh, goodness. Partying. Party, party. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Appreciate it. I think there's a lot of us that are better that way. <laughs> I know I am too. Oh, goodness. It definitely happens. <laughs> Alright, let's get some GPS. This guy's going wherever this guy's going. Ah, he just emptied. He's probably going to go back to the start. Just emptied me. I bet you he goes back around to the to the start line. Yeah, that's what that Magnum did. Yeah, oh. that's fine. Oh. All right. Bert. I see you. Uh, Chaz, we we definitely um. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I cuss. It's not a not a secret or anything, you know. We we talk about some interesting things sometimes, and yeah, it's it, it's it's a little more adult in team speak than it is on stream, absolutely, <laughs> or a lot more sometimes. Just kind of depends. I I wasn't here at all, so I have no idea what happened in here last night. Not a clue. Had a nice night off. That's all I know. Yeah. 
I will say some people that like watch me on stream and then like came in team speak, they were kind of surprised to hear me like, you know, drop an F bomb or something. All the new people. Do what? All the new people come in team speak and they realize the other side of us. Yeah. Like, oh, you guys are humans after all. You know, like, oh. What? What? It's for the content, Goaty, for the content. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, okay. you, should, you should know that word, go. Yeah. <laughs> I got yelled at for, for telling that story, Goaty. I'm still waiting for those Ubers. They troll me. <laughs> Did you change your auto drive to 10? Or no. There's like a line up here at the start. Oh yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Just play a beep sound. I was talk about. I don't have one of those buttons. Not me. No. L3 FT 43 Atch Air Dex 100 Adult in TS. I never thought that would be in the same sentence. Yeah, it's more like, yeah. Uh huh. Thanks for the bits left. Good till you forget it, right? Hey, what is going on, chat? I turned my scanner down like real low. Can't hear anything, dude. There are sirens everywhere outside right now. Wonder if there's a like a house fire or something. There's so many sirens. Bet there is actually. That or a bad accident has happened. Let's turn my scanner back up so I can hear. It is wicked out there. There you go, Chaz. You're more than welcome to. More than welcome. Lots of sirens. That's all I know, Chad. We're not getting a snowstorm, no. Uh, they're talking about maybe next week a couple chances of a little, little bit of snow, but nothing right now. Um, which makes me really... Trenton Zach cheered X100. It's always a good time off stream. Yeah, it is. Thanks for the best trip. Um... I can't wait to hear the secondary on that call. Um, what was I going to say? We get in a snowstorm. No, they're talking about a little bit of snow next week, possibly. Uh, so there might be some snow on the ground here for Christmas, which hasn't happened in many years. But it makes me really want to go clean up the leaves in my yard. Because, like, then you don't need as much snow to cover the grass, you know? But we'll see. Another person got shot because they didn't have corn. <laughs> 12 inches, two days. <laughs> A lot of snow. What made me use TeamSpeak instead of just Discord? Uh, back when I first started uh, playing multiplayer games back on Farms of 15, I don't know if there wasn't Discord or if I just didn't know of Discord, but I definitely didn't know of Discord. And so we're like, we did some research and we figured out the team speak was a thing and I just really like it personally. So uh Powerless Amen, I listened to both. I listened hey, to you both. Know, you wanna skip every other? Yeah, so basically we just had team speak so long uh that it's kind of a habit thing and, and honestly, like Discord is almost too easy and like the trolls like it so it's it's it keeps a lot of the trolls out by using team speak because for some reason like the the trolls don't can't oh, figure no, out that's john they can't figure out how to download a program it's kind of weird what'd you say to me trent what's up i thought that was goat coming towards me uh, yeah there's no names i know oh that's another thing on railroads what the names now on the mini map oh really Oh, wow. Sarge, there's been a lot of updates to railroads. We got to start playing that after Rust, okay? We've, we've decided. We decided earlier today. We're playing that after Rust. Your 
there's now a telegraph office. Sounds good to me. So sometime in March. Yeah, right. <laughs> sometime probably January or February. Honestly, I don't know if we'll make it all the way to March. That's don't throw him. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I know what's going on there. Trying to do his job. Yeah, there's there's telegram offices now, Sarge. And basically, you put those all over the map, and then you can teleport to them. Oh, nice. So, like, when you guys say, join my map, and, you know, I'm running a train somewhere, you guys can teleport instead of having to run. Uh, you, can, out. you can have tracks cross each other at a 45 now. Okay. With, like, a piece they made, you know? That's kind of cool. Nice. There's always new trains and stuff, too. Uh, makes there sense is. if they broke. Exactly, Chaz. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, There's yeah. new trains coming in the next one, it looks like. Yeah. Gilbert, so what's going on? How is it? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, it's just it's just that kind of a habit thing at this point, uh, Chaz. I, I like having both, like, separate, you know? I don't know. I just like our, our deep speak. It's fun. It's a good time. Yeah. All right. So after we get this field done. Oh, there is a fire going on. Maybe that's. I don't know if that's what I heard or not. They said there's a fire in the corner of a building from welding. Sounds like a good group of peeps. It is. Yes, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, it's a really, really fun time. Uh, but I don't know if we have anything else to do. Nothing. About needs... two days and we hit soybeans. That's what I'm kind of looking at, Sarge. I think that'll be our next step. There's really nothing to do with the cows. There's nothing to do with silage. <laughs> Actually, depending on which one of the days we planned on. Yeah, I think we planned on the first day. Uh, silage, by the way, I, I worked, Goaty actually helped me. Uh, there might be 20 million liters of silage now and only 2.3 chaff. Yeah, I started that nice. truck up again. Oh, did you start him? Yeah, he's been running for a while now. Okay. Looks oh. like he's empty. Yeah, I'll work on, uh, TMR, all that good stuff, uh, tonight probably while the, watch the football game. Gotta get that power supply installed before then, hopefully. Let's see. The next yep. crop, are we starting at 30 and going down? Or is it I don't going care. Up? I don't care what we do, Sarge. I don't. I don't care. If we do 30 and 32, we can use auger wagons if we want. So. I'm only asking because... Yeah. The field's right there. Game starts at 7. That's what I'm a little nervous about, Bird. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I'm not going to have enough time to make dinner and try to install a power supply before the game. So I'm probably going to bring the computer out here. I can make a little room on this desk to set the computer literally right here in front of me and, and wire it up as far as the power supply. That's probably what I'll do. So yeah. But it'll be good either way. We'll get it done. We'll get everything done. We need to. So yeah. And then for tomorrow, like I said, I'm doing that like turkey. So I'm going to try not to eat any turkey, actually. I'm going to eat the other stuff. I'm not going to eat turkey because then I'm going to be falling asleep on stream. So. Love the rain and farm sim. Your tractors are clean. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you never know, Bert. Yeah, I'm thinking, Beans, we got, you know, all of us in here. Yeah. Start at 32 and go up because 30, they're up to do corn. Oh. Yeah. That's my thought. Yeah, uh, the. I mean, I build a yeah. PC and ship a PC, chance. I mean, 
Never know. No, Trent, don't you dare. No, no, Trent, no. Bad Trent. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, I got empty. I'm out. <laughs> I don't want it. I only have like 110 fleeters. I don't care. Sit there with your pipe out. He'll unload you eventually. He'll unload I'm eventually. Just trying to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, I know. Who's Man. not? You have anything nice, Trent? Can't have anything nice. Good, we chat. Bring it. Just throws it. Our Sarge, do we start in 32 and Walker then shoot away. down oh. to 30? Because we can use auger wagons on both those fields, right? We can. Because we got to come back up here to get our corn heads before going up. I forgot we had corn up there. Yeah, or do we want to harvest corn instead of soybeans? It's I don't really care. We can use auger wagons up there, too. So Makes no difference to me. Yeah, I don't. Chat, I don't. What do y'all want to see? Want to see corn or soybean harvest? That's kind of up to y'all, I guess. Because I don't, I don't care. It all needs to get harvested eventually. What doesn't get harvested today, will get worked on tomorrow. So I don't much, uh, I don't much mind uh, either way. Corn. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Hey. Uh, we can go work corn. corn. Yeah. It's corn. Yeah, we don't have anything else to do, so it's it's harvest. Yeah. That's all we got to do today, Jan, is harvest. Yeah. <coughs> it all needs done. Exactly, Bert. So whatever doesn't get done today, I'll get done tomorrow or get done Saturday or prone. You'll bury. I know I say kern weird, but like. Kern? I'm here for it, you'll bury. Here for it. Just for funsies. Not that we need any equipment, but you know. No day. Yeah, just no day. empty. Wait. What? Now. Oh now. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> now I can't do it. I can't do it, Goldie. Yeah, you can just walk out, walk oh. away from there, and then walk back. I don't want to walk out. Just fast time a little bit. Kern, it's Kern. We go harvest card. We'll get all we'll get all set up for card chat. I'm here for that. Use some trucks and auger wagons and yeah. Bert, you can uh, you can decide what you want to do with that one. I'm I'm fine with letting it go. It was the fat so part. He didn't. Autobot doesn't didn't like that. <laughs> oh goodness! All right, corn heads it is. It's car. It's car. Seven. And we're using the eighty-seven. Uh. Yep. For that. Um, oh no, we're not actually. We're not. We're using the auger wagon eighty-seven. Thirty or thirty-two. No, I'm. I was setting up a truck. Okay. Uh, Trent, eighty-seven. Wait. Eighty-seven W. You think I can? Where? Let our guy go. Sorry, chat. They were just dispatching a fire. I was trying to listen to that. That was crazy. Okay, so if we're going to do that, we also need to change over all of... Uh... I just sent a truck out of here. Oh. Why do all of these guys have... rain? Yeah, I didn't have... 
Ah, oh, it's all good. Okay, this guy needs an auger wagon. Unload okay. there. I just Unload sent. There. Okay, like, I got him right. All a right. whole bunch of them to the homestead, sorry. I had to check on that that truck to make sure I had him set right. I thought I had him backwards first. Okay. And load, okay. We'll find an auger wagon. I see the pictures. Looks like a good sized deer. Oh, hopefully auto drive can get there. Never mind. Auto drive won't take the combines. No, not with the headers. Not with those headers. All right, so dumb question. Where's the rest of our auger wagons at? In the, uh, must be in the homestead, huh? Only two over here. How many are we up to by now? Wait, because actually I may not put this case tractor on here. If or this John Deere. This truck awesome. We have six. Yeah. Three trucks should be enough, right? Oh, yeah. I figured. Don't Definitely. want to overstack things. Known to do. Uh, it is actually pretty simple, and uh, if you give me a couple of minutes here to get things situated, uh, I can definitely show you uh, kind of what I do uh, for using to unload, like a, use a grain cart to unload um, to dump into a semi. Yeah, give hey. me a couple of minutes here. I can show you how, what, what I've got going up there. One of these guys is flipping out. Huh? Uh-huh. I can see my map freaking out. Yep. This one is it. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. This guy's trying to get refueled. For some reason, they come over to this bin here to get refueled, and I don't know why. I haven't figured this out yet. There's no... Nothing on auto drive that says fuel here, so... I don't know why, but he sure freaks out. Enough of him. All right. Uh, Sarge, I'm guess. have you found more auger wagons? There's a couple here and there. Okay. Well, I'm going to have the two from here. But somewhere there's four more. Assuming Homestead? There I don't. Is... I don't know. I cannot tell you. Oh, we definitely need. We probably need there's all. There's one. There's one over by where we had the silos. Silos. Or the yeah. For the, for the, the cha chaff. The yeah. The silage silos. Okay. There's probably some silage in it then. A little bit. Yeah. But it can be dumped. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, where'd all the track? Wait, why is there a traffic jam? What am I looking for? Definitely a traffic jam. Ah, uh, there could be one at the cows, yeah. Could be. Oh, we got a working, uh, working farm. Making a flat spot in Minecraft is so tedious. Yes, it is. All right, what is this guy doing here? There's three auger wagons here at the home at the main homes. Okay. That guy, I don't know what he's doing. He was set to fill there for some reason. I okay, so him. I did get one backwards. I thought I did. Ah, it's all good. It's all good. What's up with this guy? What? I don't know. There was a huge traffic jam up there. Oh. 
I don't know. Load at 87 at the trailer weight. Unload here. Making a flat spot. Right, Chaz, it is. Drive to repair station. <laughs> they, they, they don't like when somebody's right behind them. I've noticed. Okay, so they're... Okay, so then that's all four grain carts. If there's three here and then you got one, uh, do you have a tractor for that one, Sarge? Or no? Got him going. Although there's He's three going. tractors right there that need auger wagons. It's okay. All right. Um, I need to set this up right away as well. Wait, unload, go. Yep, okay, you got one there. There's another one out here on the road. I don't know why they, they don't like anybody behind them, and they won't do what they're supposed to do if anybody's behind them. You notice that? Weird. Are we doing each quest again with a rotate? Uh, do whatever you want to do up here. If you want to actually set it east west, that's fine. Because then all of our fields will be east west. Uh, after that, the rest of the day. Yeah. All right, you're gonna get the uh, wagon on there, Sarge. Yeah, I got this guy. And there's one more up stuck on the road up there, and that'll be uh should be all of our auger wagons then I believe. All six. I need what three trucks? Three trucks. Yeah. Six auger wagons. Should be good. Uh I don't know how many you've sent. Uh well if we get these here plus the one over there, that'll be all six. Oh, okay, gotcha. And you can relate. You don't like when people watch you over your shoulder when you're working. I don't either. I don't either. Oh, God, there's still a traffic jam out there. Wagon. Wait. Wait. All right. Load everything. Oh, come on, we're stuck. I used to not like a chat when I was cutting grass for people. And, like, you could see them looking out a door or a window or something. I never liked that. I, I was, like, I was like, please just leave me alone. I'm just trying to do my job. Okay. The Sarge, the, uh, what's it called for your auger wagon for you is over at the at the biogas then. Yeah. Okay. Duckler Duck, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome back. How are you? Okay. Convoy, roll out. <laughs> like Autobots. <laughs> there it is, chat. There goes our harvest crew. Uh, harvest crew convoy rolling out. Where's this truck going? That's the silage truck. Oh. I forgot we had this running still. Yeah. I, I see was stop, so I started him up earlier. All right. Let's go do some harvesting. That's why like your little minions are active as well. Yeah, they don't need to be, but it's fine. Dougler, you've been good. Dude, I've been great, man. I, I just... I'm in a good, a good, uh, you know, just good right now, you know? Big 10 4 rubber ducky. You know, my trucker name is Wellwater, so just throwing it out there, chat. I don't really know what that means, but that's my trucker name. <laughs> Decided that years ago. Wellwater. 
kind of weird, I know, but yeah. All right, so as far as um, setting up an auger wagon, I only have a couple fields set up right now. I need to take like a bunch of time on like a Sunday night or something and set up set up the rest of our fields, but it's really like uh, 29 and 31 would be really nice to have set up. 36, what is 36 planted in? Soybeans, oh boy. I wish we had money to buy 36 right now. 3.8 million. Yeah. Good. We could take a there loan. A, there, I was going to say, there is a loan. That'd only get us 3 mil. We'd have 3.3 .3 million. We would have to sell something. We're trying to fill up the cow barns with milk, and then we're going to sell all of it at once. Tomcat, <laughs> hello. It actually wouldn't give us enough money, though, bro. Uh, we could probably sell some TMR, actually, of all things. <laughs> we do have compost to sell over the winter, but that doesn't help us today. Uh, that's fine. We won't get that field. It's not a huge deal. Maybe we, we should pick up the harvest contract on it, though. We could definitely do that. But either way, it's all good. Just uh, a few more soybeans. We actually, soybeans chat next year, we're going to be loaded. Uh, when it comes time to sell soybeans, we are going to be rich. That'll probably give us enough money to buy at least um, one, if not both, of those big plots up north. Yeah, hey, I finally get a dark wagon. <laughs> sell Troy's tractor. Uh-oh. Wait, which one's Troy's? Red or the uh, the blue one? New Holland? Not sure which one's Troy's. That would be that would be awesome to pick up though. Thirty four is also in soybeans too. Dang, Bobby. Twenty five's in corn. That'd be a good pickup too. Lots of good pickups yet on this field, uh, or on this map chat. Ain't gonna be mad. Troy, Troy can't be mad at me. Troy doesn't get mad at me. He might be disappointed, but I don't know about mad. <laughs> Sales are killer on a combine. Are you? Oh yeah, that that part really is uh is not fun. Going five. Uh huh. Yep. Down full. It's so Mary, you have a heater. Turn it on. <laughs> right? Turn it on. Turn the heat on. <laughs> Send him good looking food. Okay. And I hear you on being cold. It's kind of chilly where I'm at, too. It's cranking. Okay. Goodness. Sorry, it's so cold. Get yourself some uh, coffee. You're a big, big coffee drinker. Get some, get some coffee and warm up. <laughs> coffee. Wow, bro. Wow, uh, go to you. All right. Barrett, you're getting sleep. Oh, boy. That's fun. Keep, keep that on that side of the state, uh, please, Bert. Let me get some. Yes. Okay. Um, all of <laughs> the auto drive convoy has arrived. <laughs> Oh, I've got an 8RX. Look at it. Look at it on the map. Look at it on the map. It is such a cluster. Oh my god. Shit. So good. Alright, we're going to run the uh, east west line, right? And I'll take the first little road pass here because it's fun. Because it's one of those where it's like, you know, two rows. Maybe one. But that's all right. 
I hear dogs. Yeah, I'm not on GPS on that outside round. I'm just gonna pick. We'll just we'll just do this. Take at least somewhat of a pass here, you know. Would be nice. And let's look at this. Is there any build we can clear out? All right. All right, chat. Up north, big field, uh, plot 87, garden harvest, because that's what y'all wanted to see instead of soybeans, which they all need to get done. It'll all get done eventually. We have lots of soybeans to go. But uh, corn harvest, it's time. We're here. We're doing it. We're ready for it. They're still auto driving her out. Oh, it's so good. So good, Chad. I'm here for it. All about the auto drive. Uh, I can at least go sick without a, a load on. But up a hill. Yeah. Well, that's good. Out of five. That hill is real, yes. That hill is very, very, very aggressive. It didn't help that I pretty much had a full load on. Corn for cow feed or selling? Ah, uh, this is profit corn right here. We don't need we don't need any any other food for any of the pigs or the cows that we have. This time of year, you're glad they replaced it. Well, yeah, it's too cold, Bert. Winter weather and stuff, that has to be fun in a semi, right? I would assume. Only imagine. No, thank you. Come on, buddy. You need to, like, get a little pep in your step up here, auger wagon. But we got three combines. I think the goat is uh, AFK right now, which is fine. Late for no, I'm here, but I'm here. Right, he's uh, still in here. I say, you getting tired there, goat? Yeah. Time for bed. Time for bed, you baby. Have a good night, goat. We'll catch you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Man, yeah, it is. I turned my heat up a little bit when I took a break. Like, I don't want to get too hot, because, like, the computers and stuff make a lot... Oh, it's only 61 in here, chat. Not cold, but, like, that's a little chilly. I have to get me a long sleeve shirt out here. Start wearing that. Just saying. Like, I'm fine. It's just my, my arms where there's no... You know? Want some fish at the Hobbit Hole? Uh, sure, Tom. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Bye, goat. Ding dong, the goat is gone, chat. You believe there's an I'm here for it? <laughs> hey, Dad, I I'll take the GPS pass behind you. You're fine, yeah. I actually was gonna order uh, all that I'm here for it merch the other day, but for some reason that website and I absolutely do not get along. You know what i know it i know the field shifts up here so i'm just going to keep doing what i'm doing here and you clean it up or put it on gps uh the website and i don't get along like i clicked to like for my paypal and it like popped up a paypal window for a second and then it went away and so it wouldn't actually let me hit like okay on the paypal window and then i was like okay i'll just use my card and i like would click for the card and it just wouldn't do anything so usually I have, I'm not going to lie, I have issues with it, so. You're here for the stream where we're all. I really like the uh, the stocking cap. I'm all about the stocking cap. I, I was going to get that for sure. I was going to get the stocking cap, the hat, and the mug, I think. I think that's what I was going to get, to be honest with y'all. Use my phone. I could try sand camp. Yeah. Yeah. One with the pom pom on it. You betcha. Yeah. I like those hats personally with the with the pom pom on it. Yeah. I really do. I always have. 
I've got an old one that like y'all can't buy anymore. Uh, that just has the Boomflow logo on it from the old website. Yeah. Uh, that we used the to use merch from. Yeah, Trent, you. And yeah. And that's like the best hat ever. They look great. Yeah. Even the old T-shirt too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got an orange one laying around. Uh, Sand Camp, there is a way that I can set it up so that I get a discount, but it kind of doesn't matter because, like, any of the, quote, profit, which is only very minor amount, trust me, that we're not making, I'm not making money on the merch, but it just comes back to me anyway, so. Yeah. You got the hoodie with the logo on the front, and I'm here for it on the back. Nice. So, yeah, Sand Camp, there is a way that I can basically purchase it with no like markup but yeah which is normally what i do it'd be nice if this arx would come and load me do you need uh this arx that's been like <laughs> A minute. going 10 feet and stopping and then going 10 feet and stopping because you're the... still on the outside around kind of uh, wear it on stream. I get. Yeah, I'll wear the hat on stream. Uh, assuming it's cold, because it's probably gonna be a very warm hat. It looks like. I'm getting like the the trucker baseball hat too, kind of thing. So. I was gonna buy all the all the hats, cause I'm a big hat guy. If you guys didn't know, I have lots of hats. There's like four or something over there, and like way too many over on the. The other thing over across the room there. There's a table. This has tons of hats on it. Now this guy's like, my auger's away and he's stuck. Bro, what are you doing? Leave me alone. Oh, that's better than my guy. I think he's just trying to drive to the edge of the field, honestly. Go to that thing. My guy goes like 10 feet and stops. I feel like you're going to be made fun of. Oh, I got the same camp. I'll tell your brother that he's a big doo doo head and he should have some merch too. How about that? Boom, roasted. I mean, Sam and I buy a lot of merch from people and I don't get paid fun of. You think there's more stop talking about going to the farm? Nice. Nice, Bert. I'm telling you, when my brother and sister in law are here, I'm just going to drink out of my stop talking mug, like, exclusively. So, there's a tree there. Yeah, I, I would get one of those hot mugs, but... You don't, don't want to get really... slapped? Well, <laughs> that and... There's not really that many issues, like... Yeah. And the one circumstance where I would use it, I'm not around that person really <laughs> ever. Well, that's good. Yeah. Exactly, just don't care what people think. Exactly, Chess. Exactly. Or, or you just be like, I don't know, I bought it at Goodwill. That's what you do. Be like, Poop Apply, what's that? I don't know. Bought it at Goodwill. <laughs> now, that would be funny, okay? I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Just saying. No, I, I know I'm I know my auger's over a uh, crop, but to get an auger wagon might take a minute, so we'll go ahead and swing the old uh, auger out now. Uh, I'll put my auger back in so the ARX come to you. No, I don't need it, I was just gonna start. Yo, this he'll be like This he'll be bullying my gun right now, not yet. Holy and Rex, where are you going? No. Oh, you going to me? No, Dude. he's like whipping a Yui and heading back home. I'll say it you. Need a hat that says bought from Goodwill. <laughs> that would be funny. My brother, one time, he had this Star Wars, like, graphic t-shirt. <laughs> and it, it, like, the graphic had, like, a cut on it. And didn't notice it till he got home. He bought it at, like, Target. Didn't notice till he got it home. 
So he took it back to Target to exchange it, right? Because it was messed up. And like, did you not? A week or so later, I was in tar or I was in a Goodwill with people. And we're just like looking at random stuff. The shirt was totally there. Like Goodwill, I guess. Like our Target donates like the returns or something to Goodwill. I don't know. It, it was it was totally there. Same shirt. So uh, too old to care. Wow, Bert. Okay. But yeah. So, Sand Camp, if that's the case, you can be like, no, I swear he keeps his pants on most of the time. You know, the same line that I say. <laughs> and then that's just a whole awkward conversation, right? Uh, this hell, I'm going two, one. Be like, no, he streams on Twitch. And they'll be like, and your point is what? <laughs> you know how Twitch is these days, chat, right? The saying. All right, watch well, this turn. We might get out of control here. Little, a little steep of a hill here. Just this, this hill is kind of crazy, y'all. All right, do we have a wagon coming up here or what? I got a Magnum. I don't know who he's going to. I still need to fix the auto drive on this corner. I forgot about that. I'm gonna delete the course and put it the other way. I haven't done it yet. My number two most watched topic is just chatting because of Kit Boga. Kit Boga is my number three watch channel. Uh, okay. Yeah, coming towards you. Okay. My number one category is Farm Sim, which is my number one and two channels that I watch on Twitch. Uh, would be Farm Sim related most of the time. So, yeah. My number two category is just chatting. Or number, yeah, number two category is just chatting. Because of Kit Bogo. Alright. Nothing inappropriate, alright? Although sometimes the scammers do be getting a little uh, inappropriate with him. Sometimes they yell at him and stuff. It's really funny. Chad, I'm going one mile per hour across this side hill right now. Of course, my, my tracks aren't really on the ground all the time. Yeah, I was going... Yeah. It's fine. Two, one. Two, one. It's a 70% load in my tank. Wow. Well, there you go, danger zone. Lightning. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah, what a field of corn, huh? That's a Taking monster. A mighty uh, two rows. Heck yeah. Hey, somebody's got to do it. That darn uh, Magnum's still not coming towards me. <laughs> That's I one thing I've noticed. If you get above 90%, they won't pull under. They'll wait for you to stop. If you turn off your thresher, they will. Or they should. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he stopped. I want to go right towards him. This guy's, like, not having it up here against the border wall. But yeah, I've noticed that too, Sarge. Yeah, they they rather wait for you to stop, it seems like, sometimes. It's like, I don't I've just noticed it that once your fill percentage jumps above 90, yeah, they won't pull under the pipe. Hmm. All the way up and until then, oh, you're oh, good. Buddy, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of weird the way they act, honestly, sometimes. My but time. once you get going back and forth, it just works so much better, you know? Keep your pipe up pretty much the whole time and run back and forth. Pretty great. We have plenty of wagons. We have six, so should be good there. Hopefully, that's the theory, anyway. By the way, Chad, it's not that cold here yet. It's the wind. That's why it's cold in here. The wind. It's not super bad out there today. Fourteen mile per hour winds. Thirty-five feels like twenty-five. Okay, so it is cold. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's cold. Definitely cold. Trent, you might be getting a little snow here in a little bit, bud. There's some snow over that away, Trent. 
keep that over there too. Right. Have a way. All right. 